Karl Marx He was an economist and a great philosopher. He was born in Trier, the Kingdom of Prussia, on 5 May, 1818. His father's name was Herschel Marx and mother's name was Henriette Marx. His father was a lawyer and mother was a semi-literate Dutch Jew. He was privately educated until 1830 before being enrolled into the University of Bonn, where he pursued literature and philosophy. In 1841, he completed his dissertation titled The Difference Between the Democritian and Epicurean Philosophy of Nature. He moved to Cologne in 1842 and became a journalist for the radical newspaper Rheinische Zeitung, earning a moderate income to support his family. Marx moved to Paris in October 1843 and became the co-editor of the new radical newspaper. Karl Marx married Jenny on June 19, 1843. The couple had seven children. On August 28, 1844, he befriended Friedrich Engels. His research on political economy resulted in a major publication, Das Kapital, which also became one of his greatest works. Marx's idea of political economy, which later came to be known as Marxism was an ideal fusion of Hegelism, English economics, and the French utopian socialism. He compiled all his ideas in the Economic and Philosophical Manuscripts, published in August 1844. After Vorwärts shut down, Marx moved from Paris to Brussels in 1845, along with his friend, Engels. They authored the book, German Ideology around this time during a brief trip to England, while visiting the leaders of the Chartists, a local socialist movement. During this period he also wrote The Poverty of Philosophy, which was published in 1847. He joined a radical organization along with Engels, called the League of the Just. The members of the League were eventually persuaded in this regard, and by 1847, it became an official political party, called the Communist League. All of the books written by Engels Marx paved way for one of his most important political pamphlets, compiling the new communist ideologies, titled The Communist Manifesto, published in 1848. The manifesto advocated the abolition of capitalist society, with the vision of replacing it with socialism. The same year, Europe witnessed a series of upheavals as a result of the new communist movement, which came to be known as the Revolution of 1848. It was during this time, he was forced to move back to France. After he returned to France in 1848, he shifted the headquarters of the Communist League to Paris and set up an additional German workers' club for the numerous German socialists living in the city. He soon began the publication of a daily newspaper called Neue Rheinische Zeitung, which offered a Marxist interpretation of all world events. He was soon put under the scanner by the police and was arrested for his radical views. The then Prussian king, Frederick William IV, ordered anti-revolutionary measures, and as a result, Marx's newspaper was suppressed, and he was asked to leave the country on May 16, 1849. He moved to London, which would become his home for the rest of his life. Marx soon became involved with the Socialist German Workers' Educational Society, but after a fallout with the members of the Guild, he resigned on September 17, 1850. Despite the poverty in his family, Marx devoted himself to reorganizing the revolutionary working class and at the same time, worked as a correspondent for the New York Daily Tribune. He soon began writing articles regularly for a source of income. In 1863, 
Marx left the New York Tribune and wrote the 18th Brew Mayor of Louis Napoleon, and in 1864, he became involved in the International Workingmen's Association. In response to this bloody uprising, he authored The War in France in the Defense of the People. He died in London, England, the UK on 14 March 1883 at the age of 64. The meaning of peace is the absence of opposition to socialism, said Karl Marx 